Hey guys, how's it going? Justin here from Waltz, and today I have my systems director, Matt, joining us. He's our control four connoisseur, and he's gonna show us some crazy new stuff on X4. Yes, Justin, uh, it's great to be here, and I would like to share some of the information that we have about this latest release from Control 4. Uh, it's their new OS X4, and it's going to be bringing some huge changes, and hopefully I can answer some of the questions that you might have, as well as some of you out there in YouTube land. Now, if you're a part of our Patreon, you might have already seen this video with early access. We'll leave links down there so you can check that out, but other than that, let's get right into the video. So Matt, people want to know, when will X4 be available to end users? Yeah, that is uh, going to be June 4th. That is the general release date for X4 and uh, will be available to the general public so that everybody can update. Uh, dealers have had early access for some time. And of course, there's the beta program. So we've tried to flesh out as much of the little issues and things and made it as best of a user experience as we can ready for general release on June 4th. That's great, Matt. Uh, also, people want to know, will Connect be required for this? Yes, Connect is the new uh, effectively uh, app access fee uh, that is annual for all Control 4 users that uh, want to take advantage of any of the features that it has available to it. Uh, there's also Connect Assist and a Connect Assist premium plans as well that offer some additional tech support available through Control 4 directly, uh, giving you more access to help when your dealer may not be available. But in any case, if you want to upgrade to this latest OS release, you will have to have Connect in order to use it. Now, what happens when their Connect expires on X4? Yes, so just like previously with Foresight, if you uh, let that lapse, you will lose some of your features. Um, more notably with Connect, you'll lose most all of your mobile app features, including Intercom Anywhere, Notification, Routine, Smart Voice Assistance, and actually access to the mobile app itself. They are uh, positioning this way so that they can put much more effort and development into the Control 4 app so that we can have just a better experience and have it move more quickly at being able to adapt and evolve in the smart home space. However, your touchscreens, Halo remotes, or other user local usable remotes will still be functional and operate just as you would expect. And then there are some series of controllers that have discounted rates for Connect as well. Now, what about legacy Foresight users? Will they have to convert to Connect before they're able to access this? Yes, Control 4 might have tried at their best. They aren't going to time this when everybody's Foresight is going to be expiring. So there is an upgrade path if you have Foresight currently to be able to upgrade to Connect and maybe get a discount. And with uh, if you don't have a current Foresight license, you can obviously upgrade to the Connect subscription uh, and get X4 at any time. Now, what about a core controller? Is that required for use of X4? No, a core controller is not needed in order to upgrade to X4, but will offer one of the best experiences with the newer processor and hardware that's on board. Uh, the EA and CA series controllers do fully support X4 as it is right now, uh, but could ha will have degraded features and capabilities as compared to the core controllers. So then what controllers are gonna support OS 4? Uh, right now, uh, everybody that's in 3.0 probably has at least a core, a CA or EA series controller. There may be few of you out there still on an HC800 uh, controller in 3.0. Unfortunately, that controller was degraded in 3.3 and will not make it to this X4 release. So any of the core CA and EA series, you will be able to have an upgrade path to X4, uh, although the EA series will have a limitation in the OSD that's available for it to use. So then uh, what devices might go end of life uh, with the upgrade to X4? Yeah, so the OS4 release will be a terminal build for all of the T3 touchscreens, on-screen experience for EA controllers, Gen 1 and Gen 2 lighting devices. So these are the older square body uh, type devices that had uh, like single LEDs top and bottom and like six button, three button kind of keypads that weren't uh, configurable. Uh, all of the standard Decora Gen 3 lighting and above will be able to continue beyond that. Uh, there is a driver out there by Chow Main that is going to look at extending the life of Gen 1 and 2 lighting devices, but you have to effectively set up a separate project and set it up and be able to connect it to the X4. So 
if you have any questions on that or would like information, please reach out to us and we can help you uh, discuss those options. But this is only going to be for 4.1 releases and further. So at least going to X4, it'll be a simple process to upgrade. And then beyond that, then you'll have to look at starting to replace or some other solutions for those depreciated assets. So is there gonna be an easy way for us to know what we need to upgrade? There are a few drivers that will need to be upgraded as well as some other features with the OS release. So this will be on a system by system case basis, but uh, uh, Oversee will have a tool for dealers. And uh, of course, if you have any questions, you can always reach out to us and we can let you know what that path to upgrading for you would look like. So what is the one-time discount on Connect for Foresight? So customers, any of you that have an active Foresight subscription are eligible for a one-time discount when they're connect, uh, upgrading to Connect for X4, or if you just want to upgrade to Connect for the other uh, benefits. Uh, if you have more than 12 months, you'll have 75% off. If you have six to 12 months, it'll be a 50% discount. Less than six months, 25%, and less than one month, there'll be no discount. Uh, this is applied automatically and another change it's all done through the app so you don't have to buy from your dealer directly anymore you can actually just set up a credit card in the app and then that way it can renew automatically and you don't have to worry about losing access to the system if you forget to renew it um, and it is unfortunately outside of our control so you are the only one able to access these discounts all right so that answers a lot of the technical questions uh, that we probably need to know, but what about hardware incompatibility? Will the T3 touchscreens still work with X4? Yes, but it will be the OS3 user interface, um, so you won't be able to use the new X4 interface on the T3s, and they will have to be removed from the system if you're going to update beyond 4.0. So then what is Gen 2 lighting, and will it be supported in X4? Gen 2 lighting, a lot of people commonly mistake that for the current Decora line that's available right now, either in the standard Decora or contemporary, uh, but it's actually the older generation, which uh, was uh, the first Zigbee Pro devices. Uh, they will be supported in X4, but they will not be supported in 4.1, as similar with the T3s, so they'll need to be removed. And as we talked about, Chowmain has a solution for that that we can help you out with that as well. And what about panelized lighting? Will that be available in X4? Yes, it'll continue to work the same uh, and obviously have some of the newer features with X4 and currently no plans to degrade that, that hardware as it stands. All right, well, let's talk more software and features. Can routines be customized and programmed in Composer? Yes, routines will appear in Composer, but it is best that you use macros if you're gonna do any kind of custom programming or use the X4 app to do routines programming in the X4 app as it will give you the best experience. We might actually have a video on that, right, Matt? We will have a video on the X4, and if you aren't a Patreon, definitely subscribe so you can have access to the uh, hundreds of videos we have now available uh, talking about how to use your Control 4 system and program it all yourself. Now, are users going to be able to hide or lock routines? Yes, this will be managed through the Access Agent, which you'll need to use Composer uh, Home or Pro for. Uh, but that will give you a, a lot of options to secure some of the routines uh, from users that aren't supposed to be accessing it. Will uh, win slash them programming be available? Yep, it's planned to continue functioning in its current capacity and just give you more options to be able to program either from the X4 app with routines or when then through the web browser or of course Composer Home for the home users, uh, giving you uh, very easy control over your system and allowing you to automate in many more ways uh, than one. Now, what about the home screen? Will that be able to be uh, modified? Yes, uh, the new home screen is a huge departure from what we've had in the past and allows much more customization and is meant to be a home control dashboard so you can see all of the things going on in your entire system. We'll still have room view like we did before, but it'll be in a different screen. How does HomeKit or Siri integration compare to things like Josh AI? Siri will provide uh, system control along with room awareness when using your home pods, but is currently more limited on direct media control. Voice scenes can help you get around this, uh, but uh, Josh AI definitely has better room aware contextual programming, as well as aliases and some other features. 
but it is really cool to be able to see HomeKit brought to Control 4. Uh, so you can use a majority of your HomeKit devices within the Control 4 system or the Control 4 devices in your Home app as well on your iOS devices. Very cool for the iOS users. Now, will HomeKit and Siri work on EA controllers if an SA1 is added? Correct. Yeah, as long as you have an EA controller or an SA1 in the project, you'll be able to use HomeKit, uh, Siri, and all of the other HomeKit advantages. The only controller currently right now that will not be able to support HomeKit is a CA1, but that is a very limited controller, so it's definitely worthwhile at least getting a EA series controller or, or maybe like a Core Lite, uh, which is a really great alternative. Now, what about AirPlay 2? Will that be supported without an SA1? Yeah, a lot of you iOS users really love your AirPlay, especially AirPlay 2. Uh, fortunately, it will, at this moment, require an SA1 in your project, but then once the SA1 is in there, you'll be able to stream from your other Core and EA series controllers. And what about Spotify? Is it gonna be native in X4? Still gonna be remaining with the current Spotify Connect integration with no changes in functionality at this time. Now, what about third-party cameras? Will they work with X4 widgets? Yes, this is one of the really cool features now that you can have camera widgets in your home screen on your uh, X4 app. That's going to give you easy access to your cameras that you really want to know about. Um, but as always with Control 4, the compatibility is going to vary by model. So definitely stick with the better well-known brands in order to get the best functionality out of your system as you can. Well, Matt, I think we've answered quite a few questions. Do you have anything else to add before we go? Definitely. Uh, there's a lot of things that can go on with your system in terms of being able to upgrade as well as having your dealer be able to do it for you. So as we always recommend, contact a local dealer so they can help you out. If you need help, you can always reach out to us and we can see how we can help you with this. Um, but it is definitely a worthwhile upgrade. Some huge changes and a lot of uh, quality of life features were added in this latest release. So I've been very happy to be using it and hope the rest of you can get it on your own system at home very soon. Well, thank you again, Matt, for coming and helping us out with the new X4 launch. If you guys want exclusive videos, early access, you know, dealer support, all that kind of fun stuff, make sure you check out the links down in the description. Our Patreon is down there. We have a great community. We have over 100 plus videos. If you guys enjoyed the video, make sure to leave a like and subscribe. And we also want to hear from you. If you have any questions about X4, leave them down in the comment section. As always, we'll see you guys in the next one.